everyone, it's a plan with me time today. So I am going to use, after a very long deliberation, this kit from Ellie Beth Designs, which has got the most beautiful colours. Um, so unfortunately, all these kits are sold out now. I think, I think I'm right in saying that. I don't think you can get these kits anymore. But I have had this kit in my sticker folder for quite a while now. So I thought I would use this for this week's planning. So as ever, I have just quickly drawn up my lines and I will get down to sticker rating. So I will speed up the video from this point in and I will show you how I get on. So I think what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to decorate um, in the same style as we've got here. So kind of quite um, heavy on the no white space. Then if I have anything left over, I will then switch from this A5 plan into my plan in my traveler's notebook. So let's get down to it, let's get sticking and I will show you my planning process. Okay, everybody. So I think I am pretty much sorted with the setup of the pages here. So you saw me sticking down a few stickers and bits and pieces, um, and I'll kind of just explain the pages so, so you can sort of see what I did. So what I like to do, and it's personal preference really, is I like to have the quote uh, top left hand side here. Then I've just got some bits going on for example cleaning some social media and then just things to buy and then I've gone straight into these stickers and I absolutely adore the owl I think she's so pretty just kind of peeking out from behind um, each of the days there then I've got to do's today's I've just noticed that I've got my weekend there that doesn't belong there does it as far as I can tell the weekend does not start on a Tuesday I'm sure lots of people oh no well that's a disaster isn't it all right I'm a creative person we can sort this out can't we It's not the end of the world. Um, weekend, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, right, okay, that is not the end of the world. I'm sure I could put some kind of deco or something on there to sort that out. we go okay so um in terms of the stickers I've got the to do's today's little things and then a small section at the bottom here for social media things now I know that some of them have got like that's got a TV uh, but that doesn't really bother me because I know what it's for I know that this bottom section is like a social media section then I've just got a reminder that um, James will be back to school um, and it's a Halloween party on the Monday and that's pretty much everything that I've done um, from here I haven't really started writing things on yet um, I'll do that later on but I've just put down on the today's um, the days that James is at holiday clubs and the days that he's going to my mum's for next week and that is really everything that I've put on there so then what I'm going to show you now I could put my cup of tea down there what I'll show you now is how that filters through to my traveller's notebook so in my traveller's notebook which I will do a proper flip through of 
I have the same week. So my traveler's notebook is personal sized. And then I have the same week here. So what I like to do where possible is to use the same sticker kit. So I've got a continuity. So I have got the same quote in the top left hand side here, the dates to clean to buy next week and to go. So there is a lot of duplication, but because I use my A5 as like a home planner and then my travel notebook as an on the go planner, it actually works out really well. And then here, so I've got, um, as I say, I've got here my little overview section. Here, I've got a list of weekly to-dos. I have printed this out. So I created it on my silhouette and then I just print this out and stick it in. And then here I have got, I've just used a scallop box for each day and then a little plan session for a Thursday because Thursday is generally the day that I do my planning and any YouTube type work. And then on the right hand side here, I've just done a bit of a basic um, setup. So I've got remember this week, that fox, because I thought she was really cute, to-dos, a habit tracker, another little just notes thing there, to-dos and personal, and that is like the week overview. And then looking at each day, I've just filled it out. So I tend to find that in my bullet journal, I don't need more than half a page. So I've just done I'm going to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then there's half a page spare there, and then we come into November. And then I've got my first week of October, uh, first week of November there. So this felt like a, a more natural thing to do to have. November and then that first week there so what I tend to do is just flip in and out of both planners I have this open probably more than I have the A5 open because it's you know it's it's always to hand and then on each day I will just fill it out I don't have daily pages in my A5 anymore I just found they weren't getting used so all my daily pages are in my personal and then I have my week um, at a glance in the A5 and then just this small and more concise week at a glance here. So I will do a proper flip through of my whole personal traveller's notebook. Uh, but for now, that is basically my planning system. That, you probably can't get a sense of it there. That is basically my planning system, the full A5 and then the personal size and that is what keeps me on the straight and narrow. So I hope you found this interesting, please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will speak to you all soon. Take care guys, bye.